Hi, friends. I'm Annie F. Downs. Let's read the Gospels. The Gospels are the first four books of the New Testament in the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These are the stories of Jesus Christ's life on earth, the friendships, the parables, the sacrifices, the meals, the miracles. And if you are loving being in the Gospels with us, will you help us spread the word about the show? The easiest way to do that is to rate and review it on Apple Podcasts. So just give us five stars. Tell us a little something you love about hearing the show. Those ratings really help other people find out about Let's Read the Gospels. They are a huge help. So here's how this works. I'm going to read one chapter to you today. You can listen or read along in your own Bible. Then I'll mention a verse or an idea that stood out to me, and then I'll pray. And that's it. So today is February 3rd. I'll be reading Mark 13 from the New International Version. Mark 13. As Jesus was leaving the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what massive stones, what magnificent buildings. Do you see all these great buildings, replied Jesus? Not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things happen? And what will be the sign that they are all about to be fulfilled? Jesus said to them, Watch out that no one deceives you. Many will come in my name, claiming I am he, and will deceive many. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginnings of birth pains. You must be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils and flogged in the synagogues. On account of me, you will stand before governors and kings as witnesses to them. And the gospel must first be preached to all nations. Whenever you are arrested and brought to trial, do not worry beforehand about what to say. Just say whatever is given you at the time. For it is not you speaking, but the Holy Spirit. Brother will betray brother to death and a father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. Everyone will hate you because of me, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. When you see the abomination that causes desolation standing where it does not belong, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the housetop go down or enter the house to take anything out. Let no one in the field go back to get their cloak. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Pray that this will not take place in winter, because those will be days of distress unequaled from the beginning, when God created the world until now and never to be equaled again. If the Lord had not cut short those days, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect whom he has chosen, he has shortened them. At that time, if anyone says to you, look, here is the Messiah, or look, there he is, Do not believe it, for false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. But in those days following that distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, people will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory, and he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that it is near right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard. Be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned task, and tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight, or when the rooster crows or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping." What I say to you, I say to everyone, watch. That is Mark 13 in the NIV. What I'm thinking about the most is how often people and many generations have thought we're at the end. Like this is the end. This is the end times. And what Jesus really says to us is like, nobody knows. Just watch. Just be on guard. Just be prepared. So whatever that looks like for us, like how do we live in our neighborhoods and in our jobs and with our friends and in our church when when we don't know We just don't know. We don't know the hour or the day when Jesus will return, but we long for his return, for him to come and make it right. But until then, how should we live? How should we live? That's what I'm going to be thinking about today. So let's pray together. Jesus, we trust you with our future. We trust you with our days. We trust you with the timing of what is going on in the world. And God, we believe that um, 
you will make it all right. You will make it all right. Um, when Jesus comes back, the new heaven and the new earth, and it is just going to be better. And so, Jesus, don't tarry. Come on. Come, come on back whenever you want, and we will live like you are coming until that day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.